Welcome to the stunning island of Edelweiss, a forgotten fairy kingdom being overtaken by the enchanted forest surrounding it. This stunning island is by Crystal. I'm going to make sure to put Crystal's Instagram as well as the dream address in the description box so that way you can go give her some love. I am so blown away by this island. And if you guys enjoy island tours here on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every single Wednesday and Friday. And enough from me, let's go ahead and start the tour. Here we are at the beautiful entrance of Edelweiss. This flag is so stunning. I am obsessed with the moon phases at the top. It is giving me some serious inspo to maybe change up my flag to have something similar, but it is just so beautiful. And of course, I already noticed that five or 6 a.m. sky that's happening in the background. So beautiful. Before we actually begin the tour, we have to make sure, look at this gorgeous map. Oh, and here we have Queen Clara. So Crystal on her Instagram made sure to give a little bit of lore to this island, saying that Queen Clara is very vindictive um, and made sure that, you know, this island was teeming with incredible magic. It's a really beautiful story. And also look at the very center of the map. It looks like we have a butterfly shaped lake, which is so beautiful. And here are the villagers. We have Boone, Audie, Rhonda, Raymond, Marshall, Ioni, Sasha, Petrie, Rasher, and Coco. Here is the dream address as well on the screen. If you do wanna just pause the video, grab your Switch and tour along with me. But of course, if you wanna visit this at any time, it's on Crystal's Instagram and all of that information as well as the dream address is gonna be in the description box below. All right, you guys. Let's go ahead and get started. I have never made any kind of like fairy core whimsical island ever, but let me just tell you, they are some of my favorites to explore just because they're so, so magical. I mean, come on, look at this. Isn't this just stunning? So pretty, just so beautiful. I mean, I'm at a loss for words. And please, again, go look at Crystal's Instagram because the way that some of the photos are edited to be very glittery and sparkly really gives a whole other depth and dimension to Animal Crossing Islands. They're just so amazing. Such a beautiful entrance. And I love this narrow flower path that we have happening too. And right away, we are greeted with a stunning castle up here. I will come back and check out this incline here on the left, but first and foremost, we just appreciate this gorgeous, gorgeous moment. Breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. And I have to say the stone stairs look really nice with the white castle walls and towers. They look pretty stunning. And we are gonna go up that way, but I wanna explore over here. First, oh my goodness, look at this. I love how on Fairy Core Island, it does seem to be a bit of a trend to use the doll houses because look at them, don't they look like little fairy houses? It's just too perfect. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Wow. And these colors, of course, are just so stunning. The blues, the purples, the dropped star fragments, just to give a little, little extra layer of magic. And here, it looks like the villager homes, the exteriors seem to remain the same. This is Marshall's exterior, isn't it? And uh, we're not gonna be going in any of the homes. I do believe two of the main rooms are decorated. So if you go in uh, and tour this island yourself and visit it, you can go in the main house and two of the rooms are decorated. Um, but none of the villager homes are decorated. So just a heads up on that front. Hi, Rhonda. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> okay. Before I fully go down this incline, this moment right here is just to die for. Wow. My jaw is on the floor. This is stunning. Look at Rhonda. <laughs> she's trying to she's trying to be our tour guide today. Hello, Rhonda. It is beautiful, isn't it? Holy smokes. 
It really feels like magical, but totally like in ruins, abandoned. Oh my goodness, this is just stunning. Yeah, my jaw is on the floor at the moment. So pretty, so well done. And I love how it's just this huge center statement piece. Like this is really stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's continue on. It is very handy having a little path to follow as well, I have to admit. And we'll wind around this way. Also, we are going to um, ignore the beaches as well. Oh my goodness, how beautiful is this? Oh wait, that's the main house. Well, I don't mind if I do. We need to go say hi, of course, to Queen Clara. This is a beautiful way to decorate the exterior. It really does feel like a castle without using really that many of the castle items. I see the towers up there. I think I see maybe a few medieval walls, but this is like just the gazebo. We have the organ. We have some simple panels, some columns. It's really stunning. Oh, oh it's because she's standing right there. There we go. Now I can go up. <laughs> Welcome. All right, let's go. Let's actually go and peek and see what those two rooms that are decorated are. Hopefully one is the main room because <laughs> I don't like showing empty rooms. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Again, jaw on floor. Wow, this is beautiful. Something about this feels so, so serene and peaceful and yet also a little bit scary. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe just because there's so much magic that is on this island and within these walls. It's like anything could happen. Endless possibilities and it's so, so gorgeous. Wow, that's beautiful. And I love too how the... Are they curtains or drapery at the top? How they're all different colors. I think that's beautiful. Now I'm not sure which other room is complete. Um, let's take a gander upstairs first. <gasps> I guessed right. Look at that. What a beautiful bedroom. And I won't pan all the way around because we do have those walls back there. This is beautiful. Hold on, I wanna pan up just the slightest bit. Wow, to show, what are those, the Nova lights? That's the name of it. And this floor, how absolutely perfect that everything appears as if it's just floating in the sky. Wow. These interiors are absolutely stunning. I am blown away, amazing. Oh, all right, I'm in camera mode. Acts like you've done this before, Katie, come on. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and continue. Right. And I did see a little pathway, I believe to the right over here. Look at Coco just on the beach. <laughs> I think when we loop around this way, does it take us somewhere nice to a little pretty view? I mean, these waterfalls, come on. So gorgeous. And can I just say how wonderful it is to see all of those stunted cedar trees up on top of that cliff in combination with, oh, I don't remember the name of the plant. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. The one that looks like a potted cedar tree. Um, some type of fern, I don't remember the name. But I love how just foresty and full that feels and really stunting trees especially if they're just slightly further away up on a cliff it gives the illusion that they're even further away than they actually are i just love okay back through this gorgeous area and i think we should make our way i guess back to that castle because we never went through it i still can't get over this view you've got to be kidding me it's so pretty 
<laughs> it is so pretty. And today, actually, not even just today, always from here on out, I'm going to do my best to stick to the pathways because as many of you know, get lost very easily. Man, this is just so pretty. Even just coming the other way, I know we've already seen it, but it's just incredibly well done. All right, two. I love the mirrors right here too. I guess I didn't realize that these mirrors in particular did not have to be mounted on walls. Sometimes I forget that. It makes quite a difference. Does it show, they don't show your reflection, do they? Oh no, that would be cool though if they did. <laughs> Here, oh my gosh. What? No way. Just when I thought we had seen the most stunning views ever, we're met with this? <laughs> this is so pretty. And look at how perfectly the center incline is placed with these two diagonal, di diagonal, <laughs> diagonal bridges. What a beautiful layout. And I do believe, is this the, it is, this is the butterfly lake. <gasps> okay, this took some very intentional and beautiful and meticulous planning. This is gorgeous. Wow. I am always floored when people are able to make really any kind of structure using the items that were given in game. But castles in particular are just, I'm in awe. And I love this fountain in the center. It really gives the illusion that, you know, you can go through that arch, you can go to the left or right, and there's a whole city in there, you know, a whole plaza, a whole town. That is amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and finish off this left side of the island. I guess if we go through here, there's like a sweet little view of the waterfalls. Ah, oh, gorgeous. And then we'll explore the right side. There's Miss Audie's house. She's such a fun exterior to her home. And this, I know, is Coco's house. Oh my gosh, Rhonda, again? Ma'am, ma'am. <laughs> she really is. Really is just trying to hang out with us. Wait, did we see this area over here? I don't know if I can jump. Oh yes, we did. This is where those gorgeous cedar trees, stunted cedar trees are. Thank you for being our tour guide, Rhonda. Also, I just said, I'm sure, what, one minute ago that I wouldn't stray from the path and I just strayed from the path. Oopsie. Okay. And let me see too, I just wanna double check where we are. Aha, okay, okay, okay. Great, I just wanted to make sure that we didn't miss our beach. Because sometimes that can be tricky, you know? Either people intentionally have it blocked off or sometimes they have it accessible, but this one does seem accessible, which is fun. Oh, and here's Able Sisters. Oh, I love how it's right next to this really big castle too. Oh, nope, not the map. Come on, Katie. Again, acts like you've been here before. <laughs> this is so pretty too. I've got to appreciate how this path goes directly into this little cobblestone staircase right here leading into Able Sisters. It's kind of a nice way to tie in the structure with everything else surrounding it that is like supernatural, very magical. What I would give to have Nintendo let us customize exteriors. Oh, and we have little nooks. Oh, this is so sweet. Wow, and I'm actually quite surprised how great the castle items look around, surrounding Nook's Cranny. At least this version of Duck's Cranny for sure. Huh, love that. I don't know why I'm like so surprised it looks as great as I, I don't know, I felt, I don't know, I don't know. I think that's amazing. Yeah, 
another villager home. Oh my goodness, I love the crescent moon chair so much. I really truly do. It was one of the first items that was on like my list to get <laughs> whenever I first got Animal Crossing New Horizons. Like I need it. Not a want, this is very much a need to have the crescent moon chair. Then I think, let me check the map again. Oh, so it is blocked off. Oh, the secret peach is blocked off. <laughs> or maybe there's a vine back there, but suffice it to say. You know what, let's go look. Now my curiosity is getting the best of me. I was about to say, I know it's over here because I looked at the map a second ago. However, Ah, yep, there it is. <laughs> okay, so it's meant to be a little inaccessible, or at least it's empty, so. Which I should have known that because the just themselves are empty. This version of the path is stunning, by the way, with these little pink flowers surrounding it. That is so beautiful. Is this another drop my jaw moment? I have a feeling it is. Yep. Oh my gosh, look at the little blue bunny. Oh. Here, let's get ourselves that slightly wider angle view here. Oh, it's just oh, it's so pretty. Are those the hydrangea bushes, I believe? The purple and blue next to each other just makes my heart so happy, especially against this bright, bright summertime green. Gorgeous. And let me just say the giant twisted vines made for islands like this. They're obviously so magical, so unique, so beautiful. I'm obsessed. And I'm gonna guess that there's, is there a vine right here? Oh, I have a ladder, hello. <laughs> there we go. What, maybe I'm not supposed to go through here. Yeah, maybe it's just a viewpoint. It is. But I want to see it. <laughs> Some things are meant to be viewed from a distance. I understand. So pretty. And then it looks like this takes us back down here. How oh, gorgeous. Just like a little loop that way. You know what I love? Absolutely love about this island as I've been touring it. It is so easy to navigate, but not only that, it really takes you throughout the entire island so effortlessly. Like you really don't have to like backtrack a billion times, like maybe once or twice, but this flow of the island is so perfectly natural. It's, it's beautiful and so easy to get around. Oh, and here is our little hop, skip and a jump to <laughs> resident services. Hi, Luna. Hello, hello. So this, of course, is where you will wake up if you decide to dream of this gorgeous island, which you absolutely should do. And now we are on the right side. Uh, by the way, to get to the airport, it is over there on the left. <laughs> so we're just doing a little shortcut. But it looks like we do have a Sasha's home up here on this cliff. Oh, I love that Sasha has the Leaning Tower of Pisa. That's fun. Then, got Raymond's house over here. So pretty. Let's go ahead and check out this right side of the island, which I believe is significantly smaller because that left side was giant, or it felt that way. How pretty are these standees? Oh. Oh, this is, oh my goodness, this tree. Okay, obsessed with this giant, giant tree. Wow. The Nova lights just placed so perfectly in between. And I love how perfectly everything is organized so that way 
but like a little, a little peep of the stars. <laughs> Gorgeous. Let's go ahead and I guess go back the back right. I feel like Luna would live on this island low key. Doesn't she match? I feel like she matches this island very, very nicely. Oh, the museum, of course. Of course we have to see the museum and the campsite. I believe we have not seen that either. So pretty. And now let's go ahead and venture, hmm, I guess to the back right. Let's see how to get there. be way of B, right? Oh, duh. Keep forgetting that I have a ladder, but also we can climb the vines, obviously. <laughs> oh wait, or maybe not obviously. Let me, let me, let me go this way. I'm gonna make this work. Oh, and here we have the little villager house on the peninsula. Did not even see that, so pretty. Maybe I can't go that way. Remember how I said I always get lost? This is one of those examples. But we're gonna find that back right section because island is too beautiful to not get. Or actually, wait a second. Yeah, we already saw it. <laughs> Never mind. That was that beautiful, beautiful view that was of the gazebo and it was meant to be inaccessible. Okay, that makes me feel better. <laughs> I have no concept of direction, as you probably can tell. But you know what? I try to make it work. I do. I really do. <laughs> and I feel like, honestly, the best place to end this stunning tour is uh, the place where my jaw dropped. Gorgeous castle, but in particular, this one view over here just had my heart Soaring. Crystal, thank you so much for letting me tour your absolutely stunning island. And y'all, please go visit this dream address. Give Crystal some love and check out the edits of this island. I swear they are stunning. I mean, this island really does not need any editing just in and of itself. But, oh no, here. What did I do? What did I do with that filter? <laughs> <laughs> but the edits that she has on there are just so whimsical and magical and I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this island tour. Again, if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for new island tours every Wednesday and Friday. And check out my lifestyle channel if you're into like wellness, productivity, motivational content as well. I hope you're all having an amazing one wherever you are in this big old beautiful world. And I will see y'all in the next one. Oh, bye-bye.